it's certainly quite a contentious subject, something I'm guessing I have in common with most of the people in this room. <laughs> and, uh, I study Spanish. Now, most of the people who study Spanish have been travelling for a year before they started at Bristol and came back with all of these tales from around the world, accessorised with bracelets made by 120-year-old women from ancient tribes in the Amazon rainforest, and tattoos that said, at one with nature in Quechua. <laughs> all I had was some grotty nightclub stamps from a week in Mali at the still hadn't rubbed off. <laughs> I think this stereotype of pretentious Spanish students became more apparent last year when we all had a year abroad studying or working. After just a couple of weeks of living abroad, some students were saying, I dream in Spanish. <laughs> Sometimes when I speak English now, the words just don't come to me. <laughs> I feel repressed. It's like I've been speaking Spanish my whole life. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was almost expecting these students to come back to England speaking like, eh, hello. <laughs> I have been living in Spain this year with my family's origin from Fulham in London. <laughs> in my second year at Bristol, a long time ago, I um, tried to make some extra money in term time by flyering and promoting for nightclubs. I can already feel the shared hatred towards me. <laughs> yep, I was that guy. The guy that puts spam all over Facebook inviting you to club events that you know are on every week. Guest list passes, VIP tables, discounted entry before 11, free shot of Sam Benko with your 10th drink, sours for the birthday girl, Joey Essex DJ set, sure, the cast from Skins will probably be there. <laughs> you won't even realise how stupid some of the club names are when you have to say them out loud 300 times flyering on the street. They're just random noises. <laughs> Pam Pam, <laughs> Dojo, I sound like a posh toddler with Tourette's. <laughs>